it coming to our own generation yeah um i feel like the mistake some of us are making is that some of us have been yeah it's good to be woke and all that but some don't know where to draw the line some are overly woke mm -hmm. like they overdo it okay now for example now how can you tell me because i know i've read somewhere I've, I've seen a post because i follow a lot of i follow a lot of pages on instagram so a lot of parenting pages and all that mm. both our nigerian ones and abroad people own mm. so how can i saw one where they were they were okay it's a video of a child getting a haircut mm. this child was about 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 three years or four years and some people were actually triggered in the comment section that how why will you cut the child's hair without the child's permission imagine why would you <laughs> <laughs> Permission, okay. <laughs> uh -uh. Then why would you call the child's ear without permission? Even this piercing of ear, we do. If you see all these videos where they pierce children's ear abroad, mm. like if you see it on, Insta on, on Instagram, if you see comments, people will be like, "That you're torturing the child. Why mm. would you pierce the child's ear? Why not wait till the child grows and decides if she wants to pierce her ears or not?" Mm. And then this one, why did you cut? Why will you cut the child's hair without permission? And then I've seen a, a video. I be I've read a case where a child decided, a, a boy decided to be a, to 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 be dressing like girl for <laughs> for. I think this child was about about four years old, and his parents didn't say anything wrong with it. They were like, eh, that he, he he should that they want to let him decide what he wants to be. Exactly. And I'm like, what does a three year, what does a four year old child know? I I don't know. What does a five years old child know? I don't know. Even a sixteen year I mean, old self, what do they know? What do they what do they know? Even 21 year old, what do they even know? Like, people talk as if, no, we, we were not once children. Exactly. There are things I even did at, at, at 14, 15, 16 that when I hear now, I'm like, how was I, how was I, how did I even do that kind of nonsense? So you can imagine. What do they know that you're, you're letting them make certain decisions? Yeah. Life changing decisions. decisions. Letting them choose what gender they want to be. How can you let them choose what gender they want to be? Hmm. As an, it's just, is i don't i just don't i don't get it so i feel like the mistakes that some of um parents of our generation the liberal style parenting sometimes they overdo it sometimes yeah. they don't know where to draw the line sometimes they don't know how to strike that balance mm -hmm. yeah but yeah sometimes i won't blame them because it's well will i say i don't i won't blame them Be, i don't in fact i don't even know again i just, <laughs> I just thank god that we 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 know how to do these things we know we know how to strike the balance yeah even though we are still a work in progress because exactly me and you, we are still not perfect we are we are, mm -hmm. we are learning on the job yes so, <laughs> that's yeah. that's one thing i keep saying because me and my sister were discussing this thing recently yeah. i was like i watched a video of a girl she's an eight-year-old girl right the mother was showing her morning chores before you know before the mom wakes up what the girl does this girl will wake up brush her teeth go to the farm feed the chickens feed her dogs, bring out the horse, do this one. Ah, ah, I was like, this is an eight-year-old. Meanwhile, Cora here, <laughs> that is seven plus. When she wakes up in the morning, she will just brush it, wear her clothes, and come and sit down in the parlor and be looking for who will give her TV to watch. <laughs> I said, no, this cannot be. Like, I was, telling, I was telling my sister that if this girl has eight years is already doing this, it means she didn't start at eight years. So I had to go and drop a chore chart for my own kids. I was like, no, when you wake up in the morning, these are the things that you have to do even before I wake up. We can't be, be freestyling the way we used to freestyle before, mm. you know. So, yeah, we're a work in progress, but ah, we about, were learning it as well, even from the internet. Yeah, talking about that part, that chore part, I mm. forgot to mention uh, my, okay, my parenting style, as in, you know, I, I said it's a mix of both. So, I mix that traditional style when it comes to assigning chores to my children. They mm -hmm. all have chores. Well, mm. well, my, my five years old, I haven't started... My five years old hasn't really said doing chores, but sometimes I assign her something to do. Sometimes, like I bought her, I recently bought her her own size of brush to brush to sweep the floor. Mm. <laughs> her own <laughs> size that she can hold and her packer. So yeah. that if you make mess, you clean it yourself. So, yeah. uh, but then the older ones, I have, I have, um, they have a routine. They have what they call it, timetable. Okay. They have their chore timetable. They always have chores to do every day mm. morning afternoon night even when they go to school when they come back they know what they are supposed to do whether it's to sweep the living room or uh, mm. wash plates and all that because even 
when it comes to washing plates, they're the ones that wash all the plates. All I do is cook, but I'm trying to, I'm starting to teach them how to cook now. Okay. But then, they don't like, they don't like doing these chores. They don't like it, especially mm. the one that they hate most of all is washing plates. Yeah. Any day that is somebody's turn, any day is somebody's turn to do the kitchen. It's, it's humane for them to cry, but yeah. they still, I still make them do it because you you don't have to like it. It's, yeah. I'm just trying to to make turn you into a responsible person, and I don't do that thing that our parents did that they would neglect the boys and focus on the girls. Yeah, not in Mm-mm. my own house at all. My son, mm-hmm. my son does he 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 cleans, he mops, he washes plates. Sometimes I tell him to go and make me food to eat, mm-hmm. and he would do it. So mm-hmm. I I try to to raise them equally there's nothing like boy chores and girl chores they mm-hmm. do everything they pack trash they they even wash their bedroom hmm. i made them start washing their bedroom you know you know the thing is that uh, when they start these things they don't they are not they don't start doing it perfectly they, mm. yeah but i let them do it anyway the mm. idea is so that they get used to it and then they get better at it i think that's I, what i, I need I to learn them, because me, once my children yeah. start doing things yeah. anyhow, I, I, I start getting irritated. I just be like, I beg, I beg, let me just do this thing myself. Let it just, let do me do it sharp, do sharp. Do do <laughs> I was going to say, do you know, that's what I wanted to say now. Some parents will be like, mm, they are creating more work for me. Let me just uh, do it. But then, how how will they now learn? How will they now learn? Yeah, exactly. If you give minutes, how will mm-hmm. they now learn? The thing is that, let them do it. Let them just, just be patient. Let them do it. When they mm. now finish doing it to their own capacity and ability, then you can now do it. But as long as they are doing it, they will get better each time. When they yeah. started washing their bedroom by themselves, it was always a mess. Mm. They will finish it. It will still be like public. It will look like what nonsense uh, toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I will now go there. I'll be like, ah, did you people wash this place? They'll say yes. I will now have to now wash it again. But now... They do it that they do a wonderful job okay. when it comes to washing it now. I don't even have to even wash it again when they are done. Okay. Just that they don't like doing it. When yeah. I tell them that tomorrow you're washing your bedroom, you will see their face, their mouths will be long. <laughs> All their mouths will be long that they are washing be- they are washing bedroom. Mm. But they, it's something they get used to because they will eventually move out of my house and can live on their own. And I'm not going to I, I always tell my son, I'm not I'm not going to raise a boy into a man that will go and stress another person's child. Child, you yes. You don't to do these things. Mm-hmm. You learn how to do these things so that you will be able to do it on your own when you live on your own. Because those few years that you will be by yourself before you marry, mm-hmm. who will be helping you? Yeah, and do you know, yeah. even aside, do you know, even aside stressing on that person's child, there, eh, I've realized that do you know some of some men married women just because those women can do chores. They're not really the right women for them, or they don't really like the women that much. But because she was always there cooking for them, washing for them, just doing chores for them, yeah. they married her just for that because they couldn't do those things themselves. Yeah. So for me, it's like learn these things, do them for yourself. So that when you are choosing a partner, you choose the right the right partner based on yes. the right values, not because the person can wash and clean and cook. Right. That's that's true. That's correct. Yeah. But seriously, your your the way you handle your kids is really really impressive. I mean, when I see them even on YouTube, the way they behave, the way they talk. The way they do things, you just know that these ones are well raised children <laughs> and you engage them very well. That's really, really impressive. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. It's just that that one, that one that was born here in America, that last one that yeah. is three years old. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if it's last born syndrome that is worrying that one. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah. But <laughs> I think I have my work cut out for me yeah. in that way. Yeah. But God will help us. <laughs> exactly. God will help us. <laughs> okay, but so what are what are the yeah. um will I say tools now that have helped you as a mom? Mm. Are there any tools? Are there any tricks? Anything that has helped you, you know, be a good parent? Because for me, you are a good parent. Oh. Um, I mean, you're not perfect, but I don't like people trying to undermine their efforts by saying i'm not perfect and no we're not perfect everybody yeah. knows that but you are actually a good parent yeah. that's what emulating so what are those tools that you think has has helped you and what advice do you have for you know first-time parents or young parents that are still new in the game okay okay when it comes to tools that has helped me um number one is that i would say i I use my phone a lot. Like I have, like I mentioned, I have, I follow a lot of parenting pages on Instagram. Meaningful ones though. Meaningful ones. Not those ones Mm -hmm. that, there are some I follow that when you go there, you read things there that about, that they will digress and be talking about marriage and it will even depress yourself as they're reading the things. So I I follow (laughs) and take, and take very seriously the ones that are very meaningful that actually impact knowledge 
impact um, knowledge into me. I've learned a lot sorry, from, from this. Sorry to cut you short. Sorry to cut you short there. I think you should do yeah. a reel or a video, maybe both, and tell us about, you know, parenting pages that you follow on Instagram that have helped oh. you a lot. I think that would be a very good idea. Thank you just you. talk about them and put their handles in your, you know, in your oh. comment or description box so that people can also go and follow as well. Yeah, thank you for that. I've never, if, if you didn't say this, I would never have thought of it. Thank like, you so much for this <laughs> idea. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so that's the, the one of the tools that, that helps me when it comes to parenting. Another thing, I don't know if I should call it a tool or, or a tip, but one thing that i do that has made it easy for me is that i tailor my parenting style for you know i have five kids so i tailor the parenting style based on each of their personalities you get okay it, um yeah because that's one mistake that some parents make they use one parenting style for all the children and then mm -hmm. they struggle they tend to struggle with some of the children some of for some of them it's easier and so for some of the children they are they are finding it harder to work with yeah. them because they did not pay attention to that child's um, personality. So I've mm -hmm. come to realize that when you when you tailor um, your parenting style to the child's personality, it makes it it makes it kind of easier. Yeah, yeah. Not mm -hmm. not not that it makes it very very easy, Sha. But okay, mm -hmm. because that's why. I don't know. Have you ever seen comments like when people are talking about okay, like people will say something like, "Eh, is it not the same? Are, are these two uh, siblings or are these three people exactly. not siblings? How come these ones are good and this one is like the black sheep, but this one did not turn out right?" I feel it's because the they use one one general parenting style for all of them. If you feel okay, mm -hmm. like that one now that they call black sheep or that one that is always acting weird, when you, you should check if the parent checks that that child's um personality. And then mm. maybe ask the child some questions or ask the person some questions and you get to hear from the person then you get to know how to actually reach this person. How to reach yeah. him or reach her and then your parenting style will not be effective. So is this is this a tool? Will it be considered? Yeah, a tool it is. Or? It is actually. <laughs> it is actually because some people don't know about that. And yeah. you know, I've noticed that if you don't if you're not careful, you damage one child while trying right. to, you know while helping one other another child you'll be damaging the other one because you're not paying attention to that child's yeah. specific needs yeah. that's it yeah.